See all that rust that's on there, on the hub. Oh yeah. So we're we gonna wire that, brush that. Yeah, we're gonna wire brush all that off, so the rotor fits nice and snug against that, and it helps with heat dissipation, and it helps. Um, so now is that gonna sling hard. off? I've used wire brushes before. Uh, it can, so I would probably set back just a touch. vibration before yeah what that does is help prevent that vibration from coming back taking because, that rust off around yeah, the, because we're taking the rust off what, what it, it allows greater heat dissipation into the hub okay so we'll put this on there so the rotor doesn't move and what was that anyways on the inside what what, what do you consider calling that what's that the part you took the rust off of that's the hub hub okay yeah so I gotta go grab something real quick. All so right. we can put in between there so we get new rotors. These are too thin. Yep. Nice and shiny. No, that's just holding it in place. Yeah, it's just a spacer, so it'll hold the rotor in place. Is there a point to kicking it out like that? Just yeah, just so it's easier to get to. That's cool. All right. Same process. And you want those overly tight or just no, nice and snug? snug. Yeah. Snug. <sighs> Should do the trick there. These easy to strip out or not? No. No. Okay. So you can. You can really tighten it if yeah, you were you really. Put your ass into it if you want to. I want to be critical about it. Right. Let me go grab one more thing. So all the metal to metal contact points, we want to put this high temperature grease on there and it prevents squeaks. Just there and there. So where are the points? Here and here, where they mount onto the caliper bracket itself. You can see there's a spot there and there that it rides on and it just kind of helps everything from squeaking so this doesn't vibrate and cause a squeak. We're going to gotcha. do the same thing here and here, here and here and then we're actually going to put it here too. You're just going to paint that up. Mm -hmm. And that's all your metal to metal contacts and it just prevents squeaks and make everything move a little bit smoother. That's all there is to it. And that is called what? Just caliper? 
This is the caliper. And this is the rubber. No, that uh, grease you're putting oh, on. Oh, this? That is brake and caliper grease. And okay. it's a very high temperature grease, so it doesn't break down. And you just get that at? You can get that at any auto parts store. All right, so we're going to actually have to push this piston in. So, so I'm going to have to get a pair of pliers to do that. Hmm. You can do this with a pair of pliers, but I'm going to do it with this. And that generally, okay, so you're going to pop that out. Uh, yeah, I'm going to pop it out so i got enough room to go in here. So without that, you're... No, you can use a pair of pliers, a big pair of channel locks. Yeah. And just go between here and here. Oh, and tighten it up. Yeah. And, yeah, push it back. But instead, we're going right here. What is that even called? Um, it's just a tool that's used to push that piston in. I don't know if they've huh. got a specific name for it. Never even seen one, oh. but I don't work on cars. So we'll put this back in, make sure we don't have any grease on this area, because we don't want that. And if grease gets on that, what, what is... Wipe it off or use some brake clean and get it off. Why there. do you not want it on there? Because it'll, it'll um, affect your braking. and can actually cause uh, longer stopping distances, and it stinks. Uh, well. <laughs> now, now, how long does that last, anyways? That uh, that brake caliper grease until the pads go. Oh, yep. So it's almost like lifetime. Yep. And we'll do the same thing on these slides here. Just put a light coating. And those are for the back. That's going to tighten it up. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Tighten this back up. You got to make sure you don't cross thread these, so you always want to hand tighten them first. Like that. Now that I got it started, I can put my ratchet on there. Is that pretty uh, easy to do? Yeah, it's not that bad. No, I'm talking about cross threading. Oh, yeah, it's easy to cross thread if you have this on the ratchet. Gotcha. So you want to do it hand tight first. And once you got it started, then you can put your ratchet on there and snug it up. Now these can break pretty easy, so we don't want to put a whole lot of pressure pressure on it when we're taking when we're putting it on. And we'll do the same thing with the other one. So you kind of almost want them well, not loose, but no, don't, not don't, loose. Don't put just, too no, much fight in it. Yeah, yeah, not like we did the that 15 millimeter bolt because it's a lot thicker threads. Yeah, you can see these are real fine threads, and they can pull out if you're not careful. Gotcha. Yeah. See, we got to start it by hand. That way we don't cross thread it. See, I'm starting to cross thread it now, but I can stop because I know. Because you can, you can feel that yeah, a lot I can better feel than it. you can. Yeah, with yeah. that big ratchet on there. Exactly. See, once we got it started like a couple turns like that, then you can stick your ratchet up there. dust caps on there so we can keep all that grease in dust caps okay and then we gotta put that spring on the front remember yeah, yeah. all right so to get this spring on it's kind of tricky you want to put it in this first hole here then you want to put it in the second hole like that and you make sure you got this in the correct location on the caliper bracket once you get that on there then you pull this part over to the where this one is like so and then it goes in there Okay, I see it kicks over. Mm-hmm. And that's all there is to it. Now we gotta go do the other side. Alright, rotor's on. <laughs> 